Hello survivors, I am the Survival Viz and welcome back to The Long Dark. We're into our fourth episode, but still our third day. So we're picking up right where we left off. So what we're going to do is look at getting a few things cooking. And probably look at tearing down some stuff as well. So let's, let's see if we want to... Yeah, so the cardboard matches have a 75% chance of success. But the wood gives a little bit up to 80, so that's nice to have. Cattail head doesn't really change anything. Yeah, so you know what? Eh. Yeah, I guess we'll just do the newsprint roll. And as you can see, what type of fuel you start with will really change things. So we'll definitely do the book. We won't use the accelerant. So we'll start a fire. Let that go on through. Just add another little drink there, keep the throat nice and moist. And just let that keep on going. Now what I think we'll do, well, for tonight we're just going to worry about getting all this stuff running and then make sure we're fed and we have some supplies. I think what we'll do the next day is do a little exploration beyond the town. Because there is a gas station I know of down, the, down away a little bit. That for now, and then go grab those fuel logs. Where's there we go? And we'll take some gas. We can toss it in there. It's not going to be much use for anything else. So let's add that. Ooh, extra two hours there. Oh, I guess the cash is something like tinder material. So let's take a look and see. I yeah, want to cook that and that first. So let's go through our list and there we go. So we'll cook that. Yeah, okay. Should have done that. I think first. I can use this. Yeah, so the cooking pot you can cook larger things of meat while the cans can only handle so much. What? Maybe what we'll do? Yeah, what the heck? Let's have a little bit of coffee. So that only take eight minutes till that warms up. Let's see if there's anything we can break down pretty quick. I think. Oh, that's our stomach rumbling there. So we'll definitely get some food in us in just a moment. How long would it take? Oh yeah, we'll just harvest that up. As you can see, our meters are a little low there on the bottom, but we'll be stepping those up in just a little bit. And we'll just have a nice drink of that. And I'll bring hydration up quite a ways. Ten minutes until that's ready. I don't think we want to cook anything else, really. So we'll leave the cans as they are there. We will look at breaking something else down if we can. Let's go to clothing. Do we have any more socks? Oh, we have decent wool socks. We'll probably look at breaking those things down. And we'll just break them down right beside the stove here. Oh, that's only four minutes, so maybe we'll just wait on that. So we'll cook that in just a moment. I think we'll take a little bit of water just to top us up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and we'll just have that as is. It's not too much, but it's still nice to oh, have. I feel like I'm gonna die. And still got food poisoning. Right, okay. Well, this is where we'll go into the little afflictions or status menu. So, we have food poisoning. Fatigue. No, nope, we have our reduced fatigue because we have some coffee and we're warming up because of that. But this... No antibiotics, so I think we're going to have to look at making one of these. Anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, that's what we need. So that'll be 13 minutes, and that'll be 35. So we'll break down these. Yep, there we go, we wanted to carve that. Sounds like the tea's good and coming along there. So we'll drink that. It won't, it probably won't hear it right away. 
but it, yeah, it has been treated, so now we just have to wait 10 hours, and that should pass for us. Not sure why I feel so tired. So what we'll do is we'll also harvest that, and that'll have the fish all cooked for us. There we go. Yep. So we'll take that, and we'll just put it into the fridge to sit overnight on us. everything. What we may do... Oh, right, I don't... I don't believe we have the bedroll with us. No, we do not. Okay, well, we'll just be sleeping on one of the beds in the house. That will affect what we can do. I was hoping to... I don't know if I take to harvest that. Oh, yeah, we're going to definitely get that. But, yeah, how so tired we are... Just lay down right here. So what we'll do is we'll put all this in, and if we wake up a little early, we'll look at trying to repair some things we have. Especially the mukluks we're wearing. Those are some very, very good boots to have. Oh, well, there's our bed. Uh, we'll start with eight hours of sleep. If we can get a little more and get the full ten, that'll be perfect for us. Get another drink while we're passing time. And how are we doing? Oh, we can still actually get a little more sleep. So I think we'll do that. We'll just get... We'll get three more hours, just so that way that'll pass the food poisoning entirely, and we can start morning with a nice breakfast. Yeah, there we go. Food poisoning's all healed up. We are very thirsty and quite hungry, but we have just the things for that. And looks like we're just about done now. Mouth is so dry. Okay, find our way through the dark if we can. There we are. So we'll take a liter of water and we'll take that cooked trout. And where is it? I just keep going through the menus. You could access this stuff all through the radio. It's just when, when I played the game before, I just got into the habit of always going through the menus before the radio was put in. There we go. So I think we're doing pretty good. We'll just take a look outside now. Oh, it's still pretty cold, so... I think we're going to see if we can try repairing and adding a little bit more condition to the mukluks. Because we did get some cloth and we got that piece of leather. So, let's see. Yeah, let's look at repairing. There we go, it'll take an hour and 30 minutes. But you know what? I think we'll try it anyway. Oh, and did not work. And we lost the leather. Okay, that's not... Actually, that's not too big of a deal. Because I believe the driving gloves might give us leather. If not, I'm pretty sure the shoes will. Since we're pretty well stocked, there's no real rush to head out and keep exploring. There we go. Yeah, so... This will get us plenty of leather to be able to work with. We'll get both shoes done, just so we can have as much as we might need. There we go. And let's look at repair, repair. We don't want to harvest. No, 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 repair. There we go. Try that and see. Fail. Let's try again. Okay. I did not think it would fail that much on us. This is where the time like really goes horse. and slips on you, though. As you can see, we're already midday. So, what we're going to do... I really... Oh, okay, so they go by matchbook, so we'll use the last of that. Yeah, we'll start that up. I think we'll, we will use that fire log on here, just to get keep that going for a little while. Now, I was really hoping we'd be able to repair those mucklucks. We'll try once 
I think we've gone through three attempts so far, so we may have one more. So I think we'll get ourselves fed, full on hydration, and then we'll try again. There we go. That did it. I should just toss the sticks in, just so that way I can make the way over quickly and grab some more firewood. It does sound like it's pretty windy outside, so it, I don't think we're really missing out on anything by staying here while it's... Going like this. There we go. And let's look at what we can cook. And we'll cook that, that, and that. Start with the venison. Yeah, we can't really cook anything else. I mean, what we'll do is we'll get a couple of the natural teas going. Just so that way, if anything happens, we have them already prepared. And as for the food, let's toss that back. What we got? Okay, so we still have two attempts for making those mukluks a little better. We'll look and see if there's any other clothing we can quickly break down. Uh, yeah, I can probably break those down and those. And we'll take that because we'll see. We'll try repairing the parka and we'll compare what that would be like with ours. So that'll be six, six. Anything that'll just take ten minutes to break down. Yeah, there we go. Always have something a little bit on the go for yourselves. That way, no matter what. Take, and we'll take, and we'll cook. Oh, need to get some more water out. Come on, fridge, there we go. And we'll take another leader out. I think that's, yeah, that's all of that for now. So we'll have to remember to pick some up while we're out. I think we'll just have a little drink there. Gives us a little bit of calories back, no problem. There we go. So nine minutes. And that's that. And do we have anything else we could just quickly try harvest? There we go, and a little bit of leather. Yep, we'll just eat that as is. That's nice to fill us up with. And we'll just drink the water. I think what we will focus on is just trying to get these in better shape. So, should be a 70% chance of it working. There we go. 95%. That's what we want to see. So, the Warren Park is at 59. Yeah, I think this is probably what we'll look at. Three claw, hey? Well, you know what? We'll still try it. I think this one has better stats compared to the other simple parka. Now, if we do harvest this one... Oh, actually... Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to repair both and wear both. So that's going to be very nice against the cold. One of the issues I kind of have with the game sometimes is, although you do want to go out exploring, it's just too cold to be able to do. So we'll have that as our outermost layer, have that inside, there we go. No real accessories there. Uh, you know what, we'll just harvest that. Yeah, just like that, we're already down our fourth, yeah, our fourth day now. But that is where all the time will really pass on you is when you're trying to do stuff like that. So, get a little hungry again. Uh, what can we put in? Uh, actually, we can break that down. Break that down and probably goes down as well. So I think we'll just keep working that. We'll make today our prep day to just have everything in a nice state that we can put it to use. <laughs> It might be too dark to be able to repair any of these, but we'll see. Well, we 
we may have just enough light to do it. Yeah, so that's up to 79. I think we're just gonna squeeze out what we can there. There we go. So that's much better there. So, anything we're not wearing, we'll just tuck back so we don't have that extra weight with us. Ah, uh, the whetstone we'll put back in. We will take the hatchet out just because we'll start breaking some stuff down. We'll put leather in. So I think that's good for now. Yeah, we are getting pretty hungry and thirsty, but I'll let... Oh! I thought we'd have to start breaking some stuff down for firewood, but it looks like we already have things just laying about. So with that... We'll see, I don't think I have anything else left to cook. Maybe... Yeah, I do have that bit of rabbit still. And I think we will cook that. Oh, gotta go snag another book just to be able to start the fire with. did we put them there? Oh, there, it's one. Yeah, we'll just take the one. That should be all we need. So we want the wood for the best chance. And we'll start that up. Nice cozy fire to heat the house and also cook the food. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, come on. Go along. Now, I know the survival mode, it's good and all, but I think the story mode really has a nice chance to shine. Because the survival modes are a good backdrop to fueling you and going along and adding tension, where sometimes the story, it might feel kind of artificial to have it in, just to have it in. Add that and that. There we go. A couple of hours for that. And let's cook those. Two minutes now, we'll do 30 minutes. Okay, we'll cook that little bit of the other one there. Yeah, you know what, maybe we'll also get some water on the go. So that's all we got for the food stored away in there, eh? And yeah, we'll let those cook. I'll see about if I can break something else down pretty quick. I think I saw a pair of mittens in the cloak. There we go, yeah. Hornwool mittens. Actually, I think I have cotton ones on, don't I? Oh, no, fleece. Probably the best that are, yeah. Oh, we'll harvest that. Now let everything boil and get to the point where we're after. Or just about. Yeah, maybe we'll snack on some energy bars. Try the beef jerky. I've very rarely ever gotten food poisoning from beef jerky, even when it is low condition like that. So, as much as I want to say it's reliable, it has a tendency to be alright. I wouldn't go full outright and say you will not, no matter what, get food poisoning from it. But it is one a little safer risk, I think, you can kind of take. Ah, no other cooking pots there, eh? Shoot. Five minutes on those, 14 on those. Nothing in there or there. Okay, just let that keep on going. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what we want to do tomorrow. We've gotten ourselves pretty much well repaired in that. I think we'll definitely drop all this food off in the fridge, to be honest. This is just going to be a lot of weight to be carrying around. No, I can already watch our bar going down just like that. Yes, we'll do that. Oh, there's a rabbit we can enjoy. Three minutes, four minutes. Once we get that water, we'll probably put it in the fridge, and then we'll head off and enjoy a little bit of sleep. Do I have anything else on me that's in kind of low condition? Anything below 70%. No, oh, we're actually doing all right. I think we'll leave the jeans as they are. They're all right for now. I don't 
really have anything else I can think of that I really after. I do think while we have the fire going, we will make as much water as we can. Even if we don't take it all with us, at least we have somewhere that we have a little stash of it. Cook and cook. So that'll probably take 18 minutes till melted, and I think it's another 20 to boil. So we got about half hour still. I want to see how long it might take to be able to harvest those combat boots we got. Oh, I do have a cooking pot. I'm just stupid. I'm just a dum dum. Okay, so let's come back here. Anything to make there. So let's see how long it would take to be able to harvest those. Hour 30. No, I'm afraid that's too long for what we got on the go at the moment. Yeah, you know what? Let's even just get everything going if we have the time. Maybe the sports vest we can break now, though. No. This is where I think the game can get a little hard to be a Let's Play series. Is when you're just kind of stuck in the same spot and just kind of running through it over and over again. But it also gives you a nice chance just to kind of connect with the fans, show that you're not afraid just to have a time, just to talk, even if it's a little boring. You're still here and can throw opinions out or ideas or just a little chat. Warm is still melted, four till melted. So you know what? We'll try harvesting that and see what we get. I think it's going to be a while before we hear it. Oh yeah, another 10 minutes before that's even boiling. So... Uh, that's a little too long. Oh, I said we were going to keep it, but should we? Yeah, just for the sake of the meme, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Oh, I hear something. Getting close. Wait, can I check the sports vest? No, I didn't even take the sports vest out, did I? I said I was going to, never even did. Shows you how good I am. Okay, let's take a look here. So 47 minutes on that. I may need to add... And I think I will, just so that way I can keep the fire going until everything's... Yeah, as you can see. Just embers, but we were able to stoke that again. Yeah, we lost the shit. And that's why you want to be careful about anything that takes time to go through and do. Because we spent so long breaking down the wood for the fire, we kind of lost the water we were already getting going there. That's 42 minutes till boiled, so anything that takes about an hour will be okay on. So I think we will rip these apart. No, nope. hour, shoot. Hour 15, I was hoping for something less. Yeah, you know what? We'll go for it. Because of the amount of water that's boiling, I don't think we have to worry about it all completely going. Yeah. yeah there we go. So that's done. We'll put what we'll... Oh, I think we're going to head outside because that glow I think is something very, very pretty to enjoy. We don't hear any wolves. Yeah, the aurora. Look at how beautiful that is. It is just beautiful. Take a look. Good no wolves. Look at that. And it's not even just that it's a slow static. This is a true aurora effect going across. You can even hear some interesting sounds and noises played with it. This is incredible. Oh, oh. There's some power. There's power going through some of the vehicles. I know that's something I think the story mode will go a little more into, but this is my first time actually seeing it going on. Wow. That is really, really cool to see. Is there a... Oh no, it's a... 
even the house lights are going. Oh, that's incredible. Ah, look at how it, oh. Oh, thumbnail material. Oh, this is why I love the game. It's so immersive into its setting. Love to stay out here a little longer, but I gotta head back in and we've got some stuff to go through. We gotta get some sleep. But mm, I think that's a nice little warm wishes sign almost, as if things are going really nice along for us. So we'll toss those back in and that. Everything else we're wearing. Oh, that should be okay there. Now, one of the things I'm sure I'll already have a few comments on for anybody who has played the game before is that, what are you doing keeping all your clothing on? The condition's going to go down on them fast. It is, but it's also, we aren't lacking the supplies to be able to keep things repaired in good shape. So we'll get I'd say eight hours should be good for us. We might wake up in the middle of the night needing something to drink, but we'll see. Yeah, so we've survived three days and 14 hours so far. Going to our fourth day now. We'll get ourselves a drink and something to eat. It's probably just going to be snacks like that. But we'll top ourselves up, we'll get a little more sleep, and then we'll do a little more exploring. Because with that Aurora, I think we're going to go up behind the town now. Back where we were looking where there were some of the roads in that one house that had the backlight on. There's a way out up that way that leads us up a mountain a bit, so I think we'll just get a little more sleep. Actually, you know what? No, no. I thought we would, but we're actually doing pretty good for fatigue. So we're going to head off and we're going to explore some more. We'll see if the wolves followed us into town or not. Let's take a nice little look out. It's looking pretty much okay. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head up that way. Yeah, I think once we're out of the ooh, once we're out of the wind, it'll probably be a little warmer than it is. Let's go here. I think this might be a wind spray. Nope. Oh. I, think I just heard a little bark. Yeah, the wind is going to be our hardest kind of thing to go up against. But we'll grab what we can of the light in here. That way we can make more of those special super bandages. Oh, radio tower. I think we'll head over there, see if we can spot anything. I know after our expedition into the town is over, we should have quite a few materials back home that have cured. So those will be nice to be able to work with. Up here, eh? I was hoping maybe there might be a rabbit or some saplings or something just off the main area, but it looks like we're a little out of luck up here. Yeah, we'll snag some sticks if we can. And one more. You don't want to burn yourself up with too much just because of how quickly your fatigue can drain down. Well, okay there. Hopefully those little rock cuts here will be a nice little windbreak for us if we go on up. Another sign for the radio tower being this way. Don't really know if we need a sign, considering there's no other real branches off of it, but her branches off the road. Just keep going on up. Up and up and up. Let's see. Getting somewhere. Maybe 
the town. We're still up this way. Oh, a little a flat area. A uh, deer. No way to hunt it. But we will see about taking the rat. That's the only rabbit around here too, eh? I don't want to stand up just because I'll probably spook them a bit, but you know what? Maybe we'll leave them Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised the deer are more skittish than the rabbits are, but that also is helpful for us as a player. You never know. Maybe I can smack it and hit its head or something. Ah, eh. oh, crap. That's spook. I don't even know where the rabbit went now. Shoot. Oh! No, no. Stop! Okay, no. Stop throwing them away. We need those. Oh, there's the rabbit. Oh, do I have the knife on me? Oh, I have the hatchet. Okay, perfect. I can harvest this. I just want to say, don't tell me I found this and we don't even have a way to grab it. We'll get our stone back out, and we'll crouch down. Yeah, here he comes, hopping his way over. We want him to the right of the thumb. Ah, shoot. Right of our thumb, but I think we uh, went a little too far to the right. Oh, he's right there, eh? Up he goes. There we go. Hopping his way back down. <coughs> well, so the nice thing is. Oh, oh. There he is. There he is. I'm probably waste more time than I should be out here. But you know what? We can use all the pelts and guts that we can come across. Oh shoot. That was actually really close. Okay, let's stop goofing around and actually get him. Line him up. And check. Well, at least he's going up here. This is an easy one to... I, well, I... What do you want me to do when he clips into the frickin' mountain? Okay, okay. Now, people might be saying this looks like a pain, and it is, but I don't want to see this change to be improved in any way, because this is something I could see you really enough. struggling with to try to do. <clears throat> ah, shit. Okay. Yeah, so, we're... No! Oh. Oh, hello, hello. I didn't even realize that's what this was. We've got a deer carcass here. Actually, we might even have some stuff we can find there. Um, I don't think I would be out this long, but I don't want to quarter it either. One of the nice things that was added in a little later is that you could actually go ahead and quarter kills, like wolves or larger things. I'm going to do a little climb. See if there's anything we can find around here. It, there might not be anything up here, but it's worth a shot. I don't think I've actually come up this way. Yeah, I don't think I've really actually come up this way. I don't... We're in a nice ravine that I think we should be out of the... Yeah, we're out of the wind here. Nice music going along for us, too. Right, up and out. And see what's along here. We've got four rocks, so just in case we find any rabbits, we've got something. Overhang. Oh, a cave. Kind of want to keep some distance just for now, although it looks like there's a few supplies there. It's going too. Oh, some 
firewood. Nice to have. Hope nobody Some needs coal. this anymore. I think we will take the coal, just because those do help fires go for quite a while and really hot. There is something you can find in game that will utilize those more than just standard fire points, or campfires or fires. But I'm not going to spoil that yet. So we'll just continue on along. Oh, we are getting pretty cold though. We'll probably head back soon. Yes. Now I guess we kind of got derailed on what our course of action was. Not oh, hypothermia so risk. Cold. see where this might take us, just so we know. There's so much around us, too. Well, at least we know if we go along the river, what might take us along this way will lead us there. Okay, so that's about back. We'll head up this way, see what we can find. I think once we get back to the house, I'll end the fourth episode for the series there. So far, we're having a pretty good run. Doing quite a bit of exploring, seeing what's out there. What's next? Ah, uh, I think we'll... We'll probably... Oh! So there's a road here. We'll just snag this since it's right in the open and then head back. I think we'll still explore what we can of the region. I know there's still quite a bit more to see, but we might even save that for the story mode. So maybe what we'll do is we'll try to move on to a different region we might not see. But we might not come across too easily in the story mode. But for now, I think we're doing alright, just hanging around Milton. Work a little back and forth between the town and the little farmhouse area. Our way back. Well, we're going pretty fast now. I guess because we're going downhill. All the weight's helping us, helping us out a little bit. I think we're just going to enjoy the soundtrack for a little while with that music playing, and then once we're out of the ravine, I'll probably talk a little bit more. Pass by the cave there. Very good. Getting pretty tired, but our water, our hunger, doing just fine. We are getting pretty cold, and I know that is dropping down steadily. But we do have a couple of flares, actually we have four flares, so we should be able to at least deter some wolves if they try after us. Climbing back down. There wasn't enough meat on that carcass to really make it worth harvesting anything. I would like the pelt on it, or the hide. I don't know how easy or how long it'll take. Because with how long it, some of the process can take, you could very well freeze to death if you're a little too long in handling stuff like that. Yeah, we got one more drop to make. The gut, we probably have enough between all the rabbits we've gotten so far. But let's say it's the hide that I wouldn't mind if we could get. See, that's 45 minutes. Eh, we're going to do something stupid and take it. The meat ain't worth it, but I think that it... Oh, oh we actually got lucky. It is getting about midday, but it's actually warmed up. Well, that's another. We're getting a lot of strokes of luck. A lot of strokes of luck here. Unless we've got two rabbits now. We don't need to snag one. Okay. Oh, come on. Ay, ay, ay. I am terrible at this, aren't I? These are lessons. Take time to watch where I'm aiming so you know where I'm screwing up, and I'm sure you guys might let me know about that. Ooh. Don't even need to kill the poor guy with that. That was a point blank to the head. 
I think, yeah, maybe we'll try for the other one too. Because we don't have to worry about the cold, there's nothing really limiting us now for how long we want to stay out. It might be nice to get back before nightfall, but even then, it's nothing too much of a worry to really keep us from doing anything. I don't see where that other rabbit went off to go. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> And maybe we'll get them on the return. If oh yeah, we'll get them on the return because it looks like there's the radio tower right there. What we set out to do, we'll actually manage. So we'll get those, and we'll leave the rose hips. We do already have a coffee or a tea, or not a coffee. We have a tea made already for them. And we may sneak down there. But I do want to get as much of the old man spear as I can. As you saw with how the wolves will seek you out, I've been lucky, very lucky, to have avoided them as I have been so far. That luck is going to run out, I know that for certain. Not that I've actually... Not that this is not a live commentary on what's happening, it's just that I've seen and know that you don't really get away from them for very long. Okay, uh... Oh, a supply bin. Supplies! There's none! Okay, not what I was hoping for coming all the way up here. Well, you can see the town and the area around a little better. So we've all mostly been in that area. There's still way up over there to do, stay a little over there, back that way. We've got a lot we can explore in the Milton area. I don't know if we want to do that though, just because in story mode, one of the first areas you do go to is Milton. So this kind of accommodates you and gets you into the survival elements and what's going on. Yeah, I think we'll oh, head down here for a moment. Yeah, looks like there is a cave. I can't, there is something in there. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's a, anything alive. But it looks like a, yeah, a pack and something else. Oh my god, that's a pack and a rifle! Excellent. Oh ho ho! Bring a deer. Wolves, if you hit them in the right spot, we'll go down with one shot. But just having a rifle is so good. Let's reload you. There we are. And there we go. Look at the detail, even just the animations of reloading the rifle. You can even just. Some people just kind of cheap out and have it point down, say one in. No, this one, it's not only so many at a time, it's the others as well. Even just to have the little clip up for it, that's really nice attention they put into it. We're not going to use the rifle on the rabbits. Because Lord knows how many bullets I'd waste trying that. But we will use the rocks. And get another one. Sorry, bunny. So, I don't know if we'll actually take on a wolf if we do find one on the way back down to the house. Once we get inside, though, that'll probably wrap this episode up. Oh, there's a deer. The deer would be worth it, though, because that is a lot of meat. I think maybe... See, I think he's trying to get up back up to the pond. So we'll crouch down and try to get close. Our aim might... Yeah, I think our aim is probably going to be pretty wobbly. But we'll go along and see what we can do. Oh, there's our hypothermia risk actually cleared up. Alright, condition should be stable. That's right, this one doesn't have a steadier breath. I'm thinking of another game that I... I'm surprised that didn't down them, but I think they don't have them that they actually respond to vital shots like the lungs and the heart. I think it's only the head shots that'll take them down in an instant. 
So I don't know if he'll go down too close or not for us. We might be able to even guide him a little closer to town. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I think we're... Ah, shoot. I don't want him going too far off, just in case it does get a lot colder. Let's see if we can try to cut him off before it goes too far up there. No, 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 no. to mess that up, but we did get something out of it. We got a lot of something. Eight kilograms of meat. Well, we're just going to spend the entire time doing it. Thanks to it being so warm out. Yeah, look at that. Our condition did drop quite a bit, but we do have water and we do have some snacks. This will at least keep us good until we make it back into the house. But I think with that, yeah, we're doing really good. I am kind of annoyed we did have to use three shots on the one deer. I'm going to have to leave something behind. No, you're not. You're not leaving a single thing behind. We worked hard for all this. How many times we tried getting those dumb rabbits and then chasing around the deer. We're keeping what we got. I will keep a flare out just in case, because I have a feeling with the hole that down. we have, they're going to be right on us if there are any sleep, back right. in the town. But we'll definitely make it back, unload, and then I think that's when we'll end the episode there. But, oh, we should be pretty good for a while now. now. I know there's not much we can do with just the one deer hide. I think we need a couple, or even three or four of them to be able to make anything. Yeah, no wolves, but just in case, we will go up along here and go to the back of the house. I could eat anything right now. Oh, relax. You've got eight kilograms worth of venison we're going to cook up for you. Okay, here we are. Back into the town. No signs of any wolves, so that's pretty good. And let's head on inside. There we go. So I don't really have any firewood to be able to start anything up right away. So I think what we'll do is we'll just snack with what we got. And then <coughs> and then end the episode here. I think we will try to squeeze out another episode or two before they do release the redone story mode. But this was a good way, I think, to let you guys kind of see, get a feel for it. And I would recommend, if you want us to do, a, do or play a good survival game, to start here. It's the best one out there. As you can see, the systems, they are in-depth, but they aren't too complicated to get the hang of. Alright, oh, we'll drop those here. Yeah, so five days for those. Oh, and the gut. Let's take the knife out. Yeah, so we'll leave things right there. So this has been episode four. Thank you guys very much for watching and staying tuned. We'll have the next episode up pretty soon. But until next time, take care and stay alive.